Welcome to Electra Online. Before we show you some examples of how to calculate the RMS current or defective current for various waveforms, let's go ahead and take a look at how we calculate the average power. By definition, the power consumed by low resistor is equal to the current squared times R, and we can assume that in this case, if it's a sinusoidal current, we need to use the RMS. The root means square current squared times R. So then the power, the average power can be defined as this quantity squared. Notice what's inside the brackets there is the way we calculate the RMS current. We take the square root of the integral from 0 to the end of the period of the current squared divided by the number of samples, which is the total period divided by the dt's. Putting the dt on the numerator, squaring this, that means we negate the square root symbol, we'll get 1 over t, we get r, and of course i will be i max times the cosine of omega t, so i max will be squared, and the cosine will also be squared inside the integral sign. Now, of course, to integrate the cosine squared, we can write as 1 half times 1 plus the cosine of twice the angle. And notice we can then integrate that. The 1 half comes out. The integral of 1 times dt is t, and the integral of the cosine of 2 omega t is 1 over 2 omega times the sine of 2 omega t. Now, it turns out when we plug in the upper and lower limits for the sine of 2 omega t, we get 0. We plug in the upper limit here, we get the period. Plug in the lower limit, we get 0 again. So the only surviving term of all this is simply the period. So we multiply that times the period, the periods cancel out, and we then notice that the average power is defined as one half I max squared times R. Now we realize that I RMS is defined as the square root of two over two times I max. If we then solve this for I max, we get two over the square root of two times I RMS. If we square both sides, we get I max squared is equal to 2, because it's 4 over 2, which is 2 times I RMS squared. And then if we replace I max squared here by twice I RMS squared, the 2's cancel out, and the average power can also be defined as I RMS squared times R. So again, that now we, get, we come around to full circle, but again, you want to see that there's this relationship that the average power consumed can be written as one half I max squared times R, or the average power consumed can be written as I RMS squared times R. And you can see how all that hangs together, and that's how it's done.